the difference between fume hoods and biosafety cabinets. Fume hoods and biosafety cabinets look a lot alike. They're both big boxes with a glass sash in their front found in laboratories. However, there are big differences in what they can do. A word about terminology. In this presentation, I use the common term of fume hoods while discussing laboratory chemical hoods. However, laboratory hoods are not always designed to capture fumes. Strictly defined, fumes may contain a solid component. Re release of such materials, as well as mists into the hood, can contaminate the hood and downstream parts of the ventilation system. If your work will result in the release of anything other than gases into the air, please consult us at Cornell EHS for guidance on how best to manage the situation. Fume hoods control gases. Fume hoods protect you from the volatile chemicals you work with by moving air away from you at between 80 and 100 feet per minute, effectively capturing chemical vapors. The height of the fume hood sash makes a big difference in how well the hood contains the chemicals. Hoods are sensitive to cross drafts, even from people just walking past the hood. Keeping the sash low helps with that as well. Biosafety cabinets control particles. In contrast to fume hoods, biosafety cabinets use high efficiency filters to take solid materials out of the airstream. This applies to both air that is in the work area and air released back into the room. These filters, however, do not remove gas vapors from the air they filter. Most biosafety cabinets return gases to the room. Like fume hoods, biosafety cabinets are impacted by where the work in the hood is occurring and cross drafts in the room outside the hood. Oh, it came right by. That was good. The practical effect of the difference between biosafety cabinets and fume hoods. While fume hoods take air and any contaminants in it away from you, they rely on dilution rather than cleaning the air to control gases. On the other hand, biosafety cabinets clean particles out of laboratory air and remove airborne contaminants inside the hood. Biosafety cabinets don't control gases. In fact, they can disperse them throughout the laboratory. The carbon dioxide level in this lab is normally around 700 parts per million. As we worked with dry ice in the biosafety cabinet, the CO2 level rose to about 3,500 parts per million on top of the cabinet and 2,000 parts per million across the lab. The biosafety cabinet spread CO2 throughout the laboratory. If this had been a more toxic or flammable chemical, serious safety issues could have arisen. Bottom line is that for your safety and the safety of the people around you, it is critical to remember that fume hoods and biosafety cabinets have different functions. If you have any questions about the best way to protect yourself from the laboratory materials you work with, contact us at askehs at cornell.edu. Thank you for your interest in laboratory safety.